The day, however, as it's progressed, turned out fine, sunny, and the conditions for the commencement of the afternoon program, the first of three days here in the Hong Kong Sevens of 2012, has been a perfect start. A good beginning, and the ground in excellent condition. A good crowd already at the gates, and many of them already in, and we're looking forward to see two newcomers into the uh, competition for this year. Guyana from the West Indies and of course the Philippines from the Northern Pacific. The others are all here. The favourites of the tournament are expected to be New Zealand, but many think that it'll be a contest for second, third, fourth and fifth places between England, New Zealand, England, South Africa, Fiji and uh, the other could be Wales, as uh, they will tussle over three days of intense competition to try and lift the HSBC trophy for 2012. The records show that the, the team that's won on most occasions here has been 12, and that is in the hands of Fiji, with New Zealand lifting the trophy on 10 occasions out of those 36 that the tournament has been favoured. The crowd expected to grow from day one to day three from maybe 10 or 12,000 in the opening stanza on this first night and we expect a full crowd of just over 40,000 when the third day is complete and the tournament victor for 2012 is found. It's three days of intensity, it's fun, it's joy, it, it's uh, fancy dress, but out in the middle, it's totally serious stuff. This is the first occasion when the tournament has been divided into two halves. A top half of the top 12 of uh, history in the previous series, a bottom 12, including the two newcomers, Guiana and Philippines. They will participate to qualify for next year's play in the top tier of the Hong Kong and Shanghai Bank uh, competition for that year. It's a marvellous occasion, it's an exciting event, it's the best in the world, and without a doubt, there's a lot of enjoyment to be had here in Hong Kong. Why not join us here next year if you can't make it this year?